What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to find out if your wireless carrier has been tracking you. It was recently uncovered that Verizon and AT&T, among other carriers, have been adding a unique identifier to your outbound data traffic. This identifier, or UID, is sent out to websites every time you establish a connection. In the end, this essentially means that all of your web traffic can be linked directly back to you by your carrier and any websites you visit. It's a very scary practice, and honestly, if my carrier were doing this, I would pay the early termination fee just to get the hell off their network. I don't want to sound like an alarmist here though, so I'd like to invite you to do your own research on the topic. Just Google UIDH, which stands for Unique Identifier Header, and see what other people have to say about the subject. But in the meantime, if you'd like to see whether or not your carrier has been tracking your web traffic, there's a pretty cool app that makes it really simple. It's called Check My Carrier, and it's from developer Vanalot. So go ahead and search it on Google Play and get it installed, and uh, basically all you have to do is run it. Now like the app says, make sure that you're connected to your mobile data network, not Wi-Fi. Because basically what this is doing is establishing a connection with your phone through your carrier, then checking for any UID header info. So once you're sure that you're on mobile data, go ahead and tap Check My Connection. It will give you a result almost immediately, and it's pretty clear. Check mark means you're good, and exclamation point means there's something shady going on. Then you can tap More Detail if you'd like to read the UID header that your carrier is sending out. It may not mean much to you, but to a website, or the government even, this stuff is essentially an online fingerprint. So if you have one, you might want to rethink your choice in carriers. But again, i got to stress that you should research the topic independently. And for more info, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.